I want to avoid writing a story about the First World War which was from one side or the other. It was important to me, and right, right from the outset, to write a story which was, if you like, a, 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 a look at the universal suffering of that war and any war. Um, somehow, through the eyes of all the combatants, through the people over whose land it was being fought, and of course of the creatures that were also being used, in this case the horses, uh, to help fight this war. And it's bound, starting in England, which I knew it would, it would start in, from this village in Devon, it would be an English perspective. So I thought, well, no, write it in the first person, be the horse. Now, I know this has been done before in Black Beauty, and it's been done often. And it, it doesn't really work very well with animals, it seems to me. It's the kind of thing that certainly most grown-up people think, oh, for goodness sake, horses don't think like that, you know, mice don't think like that, don't do it, don't play that game, don't go there. But I thought, well, it's worth a try, because if I get, a, if I get the voice right, then I really can get close to the life of that farming family in Devon through his eyes. I can get close to the soldiers who buy him, to his training. I can get close to the Germans who capture him, to the farm in France where he um, was looked after. I can follow him all the way through his story and at the same time have some kind of vision of this shattered world that he was living in and, and, and what people were doing to one another. And if I got it right, I thought, wouldn't that be the best way of telling it?